thinks he's big. So, here's the deal. Um, I'm going down the road from my cabin tonight at this little private lake. I got permission on this guy's giving me his boat. Um, it's super good for bass, apparently. That's what I've heard from a lot of people, actually. Um, and apparently there's some big bass. So, hopefully I get a uh, hook into the good one tonight. Um, this summer, my goal is to catch my PB. So, we'll see what happens tonight. I'm not bringing this camera because I'm fishing out of a rowboat. So, don't want to risk it, but I'll have my GoPro on my chest. So, Hopefully things work out and stay tuned. So this is my setup tonight. Some nice guy that I met today actually is letting me take his boat out. <clears throat> He's not doing any fishing tonight. So, pretty nice of him. Hopefully, we'll get some bass. I've, like I said, I hope that, uh, I heard there's some good bass near a small little lake, so I'll probably fish around it <clears throat> at least once. I'm going to try to at least because i got four hours. So, we'll kill some time and stay tuned. Yes! Nothing big. But I got one. Finally. I've been fishing for quite a while. I was kind of wondering if this lake froze out or anything, but hopefully there's some more where that came from. So on the other side of that is another lake. So obviously these people don't want people fishing back there <laughs> by their own little lake. I heard <clears throat> from the guy that told me about this said that that lake is really good fishing, but obviously there's a reason. There's not many places you can find stuff like this in Wisconsin. This is awesome. Back home, I don't think there's anything like this. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but I think this is a man-made canal going all the way back to that other lake. It's pretty neat. You gotta be kidding me. Big one, big bass, that's a good fish, I don't know 
if you guys could see that. But that was absolutely awesome. Oh, this thing hit three, t two or three times on my frog. And I flip in there and he hits it right away. That was awesome. Thanks, buddy. First cast. Not bad. Oh, that's a big one. First cast sprayed Yaman, threw it out. First cat, that's awesome. He choked it too. Well, hopefully it's a good night. Back to back cast, back to back cast. Oh yeah. They're fighting too. A little bit bigger back to back cast with this yum crawfish wow literally they must be schooled there must be a little school right there because those are literally on identical casts this is awesome been here for literally three minutes this is a little bit bigger one it's probably like 17 so we're getting into some quality today so These smallies are going off, dude. <laughs> this is a small one, but. That's three fish in five minutes right there, boys. That's how you do it. These Strike King Wobbleheads, wow. I literally cannot get my hook out of these fish. Like that's how sharp they are. He was not coming off. There's my fourth, smallest one of the day, probably like 13. Not big, but nice fish. I swear by these things. Biospawn Valcraw with a Strike King Wobblehead. Deadly combination. Got him. Not a bad little fish. Football. I'll take him. It's probably a 17 inch fish. Well, I totally overreacted. I was on the phone with my dad. <laughs> I said I had a big one. I, I mean, it's only like probably 16 but it's a nice fish around here but I, I definitely overreacted they fight so hard though so you never know but there's one down for tonight hopefully catch more well, I've got to record this on my phone because my GoPro mic is broken 
Um, well, I don't know how well that video turned out of me telling you guys what happened last night, um, but I was fishing and I was absolutely hammering the smallmouth. It was an awesome night. I probably caught eight within an hour and a half, which on this river system here, that's a lot. Um, so I was putts into my other spot. I didn't take my camera down and I had my hand on it and all of a sudden I hit a, I hit a log and I got hung up on it because I'm in a little 14 foot boat. Um, so I left my camera in the back of the boat right here and I went up to the front by the trolling motor and tried to shake myself off the log not freaking realizing that I still have my camera in the back and what happened was the log was sticking up in the front of the boat so the boat was at an angle and the back of the boat was lower, lower so the camera was already tipping and me shaking did not help it at all so what happened was the camera tipped over, hit the motor, and went in the water, and I heard it, so I look back, and I see my camera sinking. I made it to the back of the boat so fast. I had my hand on it. I was leaning over the edge of my boat, and I'm fishing by myself on a river system, so I'm not gonna jump in after it. And it was 20 feet deep, so it's kind of a lost cause anyways, but sorry, there's a guy mowing in the background. I don't know how well you guys can hear me. But um, I was about chest deep, had my hand on it and then I lost it and she sank to the bottom so I'm out of camera now and hopefully I got all the videos off it I don't know if I did or not but it's the next morning I've came out late I slept in it's like 10 o'clock I've already caught four smallies today but I'm not filming so I don't know we'll see what happens this week so stay tuned and hope you guys like the video Mike wants to sing a note for note, don't worry, be happy, don't worry, be happy.